In this video, I'll show you how to insert a pie chart in Excel. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. Firstly, you need to make sure you've got some data to go and create a pie chart with. And so what you need to do is then go and select it. So what you can do is just go and select the numbers you want to go and create the pie chart with. However, you can also go and have labels for them. So in this case, I want to go and correlate uh, what these results are for. So I'm going to go and include uh, the names with the numbers. So therefore, I'm going to click here once and then drag out using my left mouse button like so. And I've now gone and highlighted this here. Then what we need to do is go to the top and go and tap on insert in the top left like so, and then go across until you go and see the chart option. And what you need to do is go and look for what looks like uh, to be a pie chart just here and then go and tap on it just like so, and you can go and choose what type of chart you like. As you can see, there's 2D pies, 3Ds and donuts as well. In this case, I want this uh, a pie chart which looks like this. So I'm then gonna go and tap on it just like so, and there we have it. Here is our pie chart, but there's so many more things you can do with it now that we've gone and created it. So firstly, what I recommend is you just double click on some blank space like so, and then we go and get this format chart area, which is useful. But firstly, you can go and change the chart title. So I can go and name this like pet results or something like that. And then what we can do is go and look at this. And as you can see, it hasn't got any labels. So let's go and add some data labels. To do that, all you need to do is go to the top left where it says add chart element and go and tap on it like so. And then tap on data elements and choose where you want them. As you can see, you can hover over and choose where you want them to be. In this case, I want it just to be uh, on the outside end like so. So I'll tap there and there it is. And if you want these to be percentages, which is quite common with pie charts, then all you now need to do is go back to the top left and go and tap on add chart elements and then go and tap on data labels and then go and tap on more data label options. And you can then go and tap on these label options like this. And then you can go and expand label options just like this. And then what you can do is go and enable percentage like so. And there we go. It's then going to go and enable percentage. And that looks a lot nicer. And what you can do is change the separator as well. As you can see at the moment, it's set to comma. So I just want mine to be set to uh, a dot. So I'll select period just like that. And there we go. We've now gone and got the percentages. 